Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Jackson. Takes it off the glass. He's hard to stop when given any room to operate at all. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Pass to Thorpe. Thorpe with a screen on Harper. Pass to Smith. Six to shoot. Back to Garland. Shoots over Harper. Rebound by the Clippers. Jackson's got four rebounds in this game. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. A big guard to try and defend. At six foot six, you see why Harper draws so many whistles. At the line for the Clippers, Ron Harper. At the line for one. And that one falls for Harper. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Smith the pass to Garland. Passes to Thorpe. Back to Garland. Down to five on the shot clock. Doesn't go for him. Some solid defense there from Jackson. The Clippers have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. And the rebound collected by Ori. Ori's got six rebounds now in the game. Smith with a wide open look. The Rockets with another miss. Well, some nights the shots just don't fall. Ask him. Here's Norman. Down low. Here's Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Not the biggest guy by any means, but that lift more than makes up for it. Rockets leading by 17. Smith outside. Driving inside. It's tipped. Inside. Here's Jackson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Well, I really admire the way Jackson always seems to be under control. Even when he gets hit, he maintains his composure. Now a timeout called by Houston. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey guys, well the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. His point to them was that they put themselves in a position to succeed and that this is their game to lose. So he needs to see full concentration out of every guy on the court to finish this one off. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Now here is Smith to the paint. Here's Elijah one. And again, unable to change momentum here. The Clippers have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harper's got 10 points here in the second half. The big guard, Harper, using his side to take advantage inside. Smith outside. Elijah on the wing. The Rockets again can't hit. He tried to use the fadeaway. Get a little space. Not an easy shot to drain. Here's Jackson. Tries again. And the layup is good. This is what he brings to your team. The ability to turn misses into makes. Pile up second chance points. Smith with it. Williams picks him up. The pass to Thorpe. Here's Ori. Smith outside. Over Williams. And it's Smith missing. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. 
He's been awful ever since the second half started. Not even been a factor. Jackson against Thornton. Jackson, that's good. Jackson. Tremendous effort from this team, fighting hard to get close. Well, they've done it by playing well on both ends. That needs to continue if they want to have a shot to win. Here now, the Clippers. What a stretch they've got going here. 17 2. Plays it up and banks it in. Jackson's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And, you know, this thing looked pretty much over heading into the fourth quarter, but give them credit for fighting their way back. Something gave them a jolt, and now they're draining everything. We've got some fireworks in store for us down the stretch. Now, here is Smith. Pass to Thorpe. Wants to get it to Elijah Wan and does. Elijah Wan drawn the double team. And it's Smith missing. You know, you got a feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Boy, I tell you, this team has too much spirit and leadership to throw in the towel. Yeah, they're showing so much passion and determination here at the end. They're close to the lead, but still have plenty of work left to do. Timeout called the Rockets. Looking to stop the bleeding and put an end to this run. Yeah, coach wants to settle them down and get them organized. Here's Smith. Stolen by Jackson. Here we go, one on one. Elijah Wan with the puck. They recover it. Rocket six. Here's Manning. The Rockets pull it in. Forbes got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Smith to end the cold streak. It's rebounded by Manning. He needs an alternate offensive strategy because the arc is not being kind to him right now. They get it back. Every rebound seems to end up in his hands. How does that happen? He's having himself a game on the boards. Well, the work is done early. Reading the ball in the air, establishing position, it all matters. Now, here's Garland. Pass to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan drawn the double team. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And here's Jackson. Sweet move. And he sinks the layup. With the game in the balance, can't ask for a better look than that. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Rebound by Roberts. Roberts got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Norman. Pass to Manning. From down in the low post, it goes. And it's now only a one-point rocket lead. They found something, and they're clicking now. Their offense has put them in position. Now, can they keep it going? Now a timeout called by Houston. 